everybody! We may be over a week into 2023, about to celebrate our country music game, but hey, let's keep those Happy New Year vibes going with the one and only Swagman! Hey everybody, how are we doing? That is right, it is me, Swagman. I am so happy to be with you today. For our country music game, I think we all need to let out a yeah. Am I right? We're getting going. Uh, are you wearing a Stetson? I may or may not be. Uh, <laughs> look, you gotta get prepped for the fun of this game. I hope you all had a great New Year. I hope you had a great holiday season. It is great to be here in 2023 with all of you. I I've seen you in the chat talking about your favorite country music artists. We've got some great artists in there. I'm really glad that somebody mentioned Taylor Swift because I don't think we think of her as a country music artist anymore, right? She's she's a pop music artist, but she started in country. So she, th this person's going back to OGT Swift and saying that is uh, is my favorite country music artist. Uh, this is a very interesting choice, but you know what? Let's let's have fun with it. If you like that country music, go for that country music. Uh, you know, I had a great holiday season. Uh, I recently had to double back home uh, another time, but it gave me the chance to meet a member of the family this past weekend. Uh, I, I'm going to admit, I forgot to get her username for a proper shout out, but you know who you are, and I hope you're having a great day. Also, for those wondering, a family member is someone who starts out as a fan, but then winds up in the family. It's a rare occurrence, but it's really cool. Um, who's ready? Are we ready? I'm ready. Put on your best cowboy boots, a suit by a nudie cone, and strap on a guitar, because it's time for an all-country music edition of Swag Bucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. I don't think I can do that voice the whole time, though, so let's just keep going like this, shall we? If you know your country music, you're gonna have an easy path to today's grand prize, there it is, the prize amount, $1,000. And if you correctly answer all 10 of our multiple choice trivia questions about country music, you're going to win your share of it. I have someone in the chat saying that I sounded like Beetlejuice. And you're not wrong, but I'm not going to say that name two more times. Uh, look, in this game, though, we'll get back to this game. You're going to earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. If you're eliminated from grand prize contention, you'll need to claim your bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. But that is as simple as clicking a button. That appears at the end of the game. If you win the game, your bonus is claimed automatically. Now, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. You can rejoin using SB. It's generally about, I don't know, one SB to rejoin. Or you can use a free rejoin. Now, if you don't have any of those, just click get more rejoins in the main menu at the end of the game, and you can earn rejoins by watching videos. Not only that, but we're giving away a 500 SB prize each game to a random player who earns and claims at least one SB in the game. We announced the winner at the beginning of the following game, and the winner from Friday's game was Cactus23. So congratulations, you'll be credited shortly. Everyone else, keep coming back because there are more giveaways to come. Also, if you're looking for more SB outside of what you win from today's game, just click the More Ways to Earn button in the main menu at any time, and you'll be taken to an exclusive offer wall with opportunities to earn SB towards your daily goal. It's all there and worth checking out after the game at any time a game's not happening. But folks, we've got 33,000 people here for our country music game. We've got $1,000 on the line, so it's time to say adios to those comments. Let's get those on tour while we get this game underway here we go for 33,000 actually 34,000 people that's right 34,000 people here you go question number one which of the following is a title of a garth brooks album no fences some fences or all the fences which of the following is the title of a garth brooks album a lot of people saying garth brooks was their favorite country artist in the chat so you might know it now forget keeping it to country music Garth Brooks is one of the most successful recording artists of all time, period. And his 1990 album, No Fences, is one of his biggest hits. 92% of you got that one right. Well done. You are moving on. 
Some people thought it might be some fences, and then there was like 1,600 people who thought all the fences. Look, if you're a cowboy, you don't want any fences. Unless, of course, you want them around, you want the fences around the cows, but you don't want like any, any fences for yourself. Like a metaphorical fence, like a cowboy doesn't want to be fenced in. A cowboy wants that free open range, right? So think, think of it that way as we move on to question number two worth a bonus SB if you get it right. Here we go, Q2. Bocephus is the nickname of what country singer? Kane Brown, Jason Aldean, or Hank Williams Jr.? Bocephus is the nickname of what country singer? Well, his father is one of the pioneers of country music, and he's done a good job of blazing his own trail. Although, Hank Williams Jr.'s nickname comes from his dad after the Grand old Opry dummy. Hank Williams Jr. is Bo Cephas. 88% of you getting that one right. Well done, you're moving on. I gotta admit, I'm pretty sure what I know Hank Williams Jr. from is the Monday Night Football theme song from back in the day. All my rowdy friends are here for Monday night. I would get to stay up and listen to that song. And it was the epitome to me of Monday Night Football. Are you ready for some football? Sorry, that's just going through my head now. But we're going to move on to question number three. Worth a bonus SB. Here we go, Q3. Country singer Blake Shelton is a coach on what reality show? American Idol, The Voice, or The Sing-Off? A lot of people talking about Blake Shelton in the chat as well. So you might know this one. He's been coaching on the show for so long that there may be an entire generation of people who don't even know Blake Shelton's pre-The Voice career. The Voice is the answer. 96% of you are getting that one right. You know all about the coach on The Voice. That's right. I, I forget how many times he's won it as a coach, but he has done a lot of work there. You know, just shepherding artists along towards victory. Uh, we're doing pretty good so far. Let's keep it moving to question number four, where there is a bonus SB attached if you get it right. Here we go, Q4. Dolly Parton wrote what song to say goodbye to Porter Wagner? Is it I Will Always Love You, Jolene, or 9 to 5? Which of those songs was the goodbye? Well, finally ready to strike out on her own, but torn by her friendship with Wagner, she brought him to tears in his office by playing him I will always love you wow that was a tough one only 61% of you got that one right I would have thought that would have been a no-brainer we had some people who uh, mo the majority of the people who got it wrong 32% of you went with nine to five what a way to make a living which was I, I think just about like a work day you know just working and that was also a movie and then of course Jolene Jolene Jolene, Jolene, which actually has a follow-up. If you have not heard Cam's Diane, go check that one out because it's a follow-up to Jolene and it's amazing. I think I've vamped long enough because we've got 8,900 people, almost 9,000 people, boom, there it is, rejoined back in the game. The song was I Will Always Love You, which maybe you're thinking, that's a Dolly Parton song? Yes, Whitney Houston covered the song that Dolly Parton did. So, there's your answers all around, and the who's and the why's and the where's, and now it's time for question five. We're the bonus SB. If you get it right, here we go, Q5. Country legend Ernest Tubb had a famous record store in what Tennessee city? Memphis, Nashville, or Knoxville? Ernest Tubb had a famous record store in what Tennessee city? This could be a tough one. Now, located around the corner from the famous Ryman Theater, the shop closed last year after over 70 years being a cultural landmark in Nashville. Nashville, that great music capital. Nashville, 83% of you getting that one right. Well done. You're moving on. Now, Memphis is also known for music, but I feel like Memphis is more blues while Nashville is more country. You know what I mean? You know, they're very close in musical styles. In fact, I think, you know, talking about Hank Williams Jr. earlier, I think he kind of mixed those styles a bit. But Nashville is the answer for Ernest Tubbs Famous Records Store. We're now on to question six, over halfway done with the quiz. And this one's worth a bonus SP if you get it right. So here we go, Q6. Coal Miner's Daughter is the signature song of which country artist? Jeannie C. Riley, Bobby Gentry, or Loretta Lynn? Coal Miner's Daughter, the signature song of which country artist? 
Some of you were talking about this country artist in the chat. Yeah. Now, write what you know, they say, right? Write what you know. And she said, okay. Releasing this song in 1970 as an autobiographical piece that also became the title of her biopic. Loretta Lynn is the answer. 94% of you getting that one right. We got a lot of Loretta Lynn fans in the chat loving those lyrics and this quiz. Let's keep it going. We don't have many people that need to rejoin, so let's get on to Q7 worth a bonus SB. Here we go, Q7. Who named Buck Owens band the Buckaroos? Was it Don Rich, Merle Haggard, or Don Law? Who named Buck Owens band the Buckaroos? That's actually a really creative name, you know. It took some time for Buck Owens to assemble the iconic lineup of his backing group, and for a time he had a very famous bassist who gave the group its name. Merle Haggard is the answer. Now this was a tough question, but not as tough as the Dolly Parton question. This one got 71% of you to get it right. Well done. The, the rest of you went for Don. Either Don Rich or Don Law, but the answer was Merle Haggard. I want to give you a little chance to get back in here before we move on. Do you think Buck Owens and the Buckaroos ever got to stay at Buckingham Palace? It's just a thing that popped into my brain and I think we're all wondering it now. But let's focus in on question number eight, which is worth a bonus SB. Here we go. Waylon Jennings provided the theme song for which 1980s TV show? Saint Elsewhere, Alf, or the Dukes of Hazard? Waylon Jennings provided the theme song for which 1980s TV show? Not only did he provide the song, but he also provided the sparse bits of narration in each episode. And there's no doubt that Waylon Jennings lent the Dukes of Hazard some cred. That's right. 99% of you getting that one right and moving on. Well done. You knew about those good old boys. Never meaning no harm. Such a thing you never saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. Right? You knew about those guys. So let's just move on to Q9 worth of bonus SP. Here we go, Q9. What Willie Nelson song has a drum part that mimics the sound of a train? Always on my mind. On the road again, or Riders in the Sky? Which of those songs has a drum part that mimics the sound of a train? This is one of the ultimate road trip songs, and everything about it conveys movement, especially that driving snare drum. It makes all of us excited to be on the road again. I just can't wait to be on the road again with 84% of you, my Swagbucks friends. You got that right, and you're on the road again. To question 10, that is, 16,226 of you have made it this far and are ready for our final question. Well done, everybody. Now, before we get to that final question, look, it's almost dinner time for me here in LA and that's got me thinking about food. So if you're thinking about food, from slight sweetness to savory richness, use Nakano rice vinegar for your next meal and earn SB while doing it. Here's how. Add Nakano to your list in Magic Receipts. Then buy one eligible bottle of Nakano rice vinegar at a participating retailer and earn 50 SB when you upload a photo of your receipt as proof of purchase. Buy two on the same receipt and earn 200 SB. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity, but check it out after the game. Yes, that sweetness, savory richness, spice up your dinner with some Nakano rice vinegar. But right now, before we can get to dinner, folks, we got to finish this quiz. We're on question 10. We've got 17,457 of you in to go for that grand prize right now after 1,200 plus people rejoined. We've got almost 35,000 people hanging out and having fun. So here we go. Question 10 for all the marbles and a bonus SB for everyone else hanging out. Here we go. Q10. Complete the title of this Crystal Gale song. Don't make... Don't it make my brown eyes blue, gray, or browner? So complete the title of the song. Don't it make my brown eyes blue, gray, or browner? Well, if you didn't already know, Crystal Gale is also, uh, also a coal miner's daughter. She's the sister of Loretta Lynn. And one of her hit songs is Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue. Blue is the answer. 16,912 of you. Knew that answer and are splitting our grand prize. Yeehaw! Congratulations to all of our winners. Let's give a couple 
howdies and shout outs here, shall we? Well, congratulations to Lou Wilson 15. I'll go back to this voice for this part. This seems fun. We got Lou Wilson 15 who's going home with those SB. We've got Margaret Margaretella 395 who took home the win. Congratulations to you. We've also got Butterfly Pixie 62 who is a winner as well as so many others. Congratulations. You got 6SB plus all those other SB that you walked away with for getting those questions right. Of course, if you didn't win the game, you must click claim, folks, so go ahead and do that right now. But for everyone, now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them, right? Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Thanks for playing along and winning, everybody. We're going to see you tomorrow for another round. This was Swagbucks Live. <coughs> And I'm going to be out of here. See ya, folks.